Loading up on taser ammo, pepper spray, and bean bags. That's just a small portion of a long shopping list by the Honolulu Police Department as it prepares for this year's APEC conference in Hawaii. Joining us this morning with more on this is Civil Beat editor John Temple. Good morning, John. Good morning. So, why don't you tell us about this long shopping list? Well, it's really interesting. I mean, the police is obviously gearing up to be prepared for the APEC conference. They've requested more than $400,000 in non-lethal or less lethal weaponry since April and 700000 in the last couple of years. I mean, we're talking a serious amount of weaponry, like 3,000 taser rounds, 30 taser, uh, at least 30 taser weapons, this amazing loudspeaker system that they use to um, contact pirates at high sea that can hear things through helicopters and everything. I mean, they're really very, very seriously preparing for um, serious protests at APEC. Well, wow, and you know, you're going to have these world leaders here in Honolulu, so HBD needs to have security. And there are a lot of agencies uh, spending a lot of money. You've got the University of Hawaii, you've got HPD, state and city, all preparing for the APEC conference. Um, what do you think is going to happen with this long shopping list? And in the end, if they get all these things, then what do they do with it? Well, th that's the concern of the ACLU. The American Civil Liberties of Union of Hawaii used an open, uh, open records request to obtain about 42 pages of documents from the, from the city, which we then analyzed and, and organized. And I mean, the concern is, is that they're preparing for an event that won't happen and might act inappropriately because they escalate too quickly when in fact um, there has to be the right to peaceful expression at any such event and people need to be able to express their views. And John, uh, you've got an interesting story on Halava Prison. One of your reporters was able to take a look. Uh, what did they find there? Well, that was a fascinating story. We went into Halava Prison last week with Senator Will Asparrow and some other people. And one, one thing that shocked the senator, which I think is important to know, is, is that the guards and staff do not go through the same contraband or metal detector that every other visitor to the prison goes through. And he was very concerned about that because contraband within the prison, you know, drugs, cigarettes, is a real business. And um, if, if the guards and others are the only people who don't get inspected, you've got to wonder if that's appropriate. Or he certainly did. Well, John Temple from Civil Beat, it sounds like a fascinating story. I love reading your website. The stories are really unique, and you won't find them anywhere else. So thank you so much for providing us with all this content. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And you can find the complete story and those other stories that we just discussed on civilbeat.com. Definitely check it out. You're watching KITV 4 News this morning. It is 637.